Hello, I'm Dr. Cheryl Caparola, and I'm a cardiac intensivist at Children's Hospital of Colorado. And I'm Dr. Kelly Wolf. I'm a pediatric neuropsychologist here at Children's Hospital Colorado. And we are here today to talk about cardiac neurodevelopmental care and the Cinco program. Cheryl, to get us started, what is Cinco? Well, thanks for asking, Kelly. Cinco, which stands for Cardiac Inpatient Neurodevelopmental Care Optimization, is an interdisciplinary program focusing on the neurodevelopmental care of our inpatient cardiac patients in our cardiac ICU, as well as our step-down unit, or cardiac progressive care unit. Um, this team involves many subspecialists, including our physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech and language pathologists, uh, we have a pediatric psychologist, a neuropsychologist, physicians, uh, nurses, volunteers, child life specialists, social workers, as you can tell, a very large program, all focusing on how we can best take care of our patients um, neurodevelopmentally. More and more of our cardiac patients are surviving into adulthood, and we really want to set them up for the best success in their life with the best neurodevelopmental outcomes they can have. So I've now described what Cinco is. Can you tell us a little bit about how Cinco started? Absolutely. Cinco really started at a grassroots level at our hospital with providers noticing um, the differences between infants' experiences and environments when they were in the hospital versus what they would be getting at home. Um, just for example, at home, infants are you know, allowed to sleep through the night if that's what is right for them. Um, and most of their waking experience is in, you know, in, in connection with caregivers um, and being attended to. Um, and that was really different than the experience of some of our inpatients. And so we started to get together as a team and just say, what are we already doing, first of all, to provide developmental care for our youngest cardiac patients in the hospital? And also, how can we expand upon that in our existing clinical roles and workflows? Um, how can we make the inpatient environment more like home for our patients and families? Um, and a fun fact is that before we came up with the Synchro acronym, um, we actually called this the Like Home program because really the, the spirit of Synchro is to make the inpatient environment more like home for babies with CHD. Um, so, as we started this, we created focus groups, including all of the disciplines that you mentioned earlier, um, as well as parents and caregivers who had recently been in our inpatient environments for extended times. And we really asked them, you know, are you even thinking about your child's neurodevelopment at this time, or are you really focused on survival and growth and, you know, being able to get out of the hospital? Um, and, and just to see if this would be something parents and, and families would want. And what we heard was unequivocally that parents are always thinking about neurodevelopment and long-term outcomes in the back of their mind. Um, what is going to be the impact of this long hospitalization and all of these medications and tubes on my baby for the long term? Um, and parents were really excited about the idea of the Cinco program. And along those lines, we asked parents how they would feel about having volunteers coming into their rooms um, to do developmental activities using developmental plans at bedside. Um, parents were really supportive of that idea, but did mention the importance of volunteers having cardiac-specific training um, so that they would know, for example, what sternal precautions would imply. Um, and so we really integrated that when we designed the Cinco Volunteer Program. So Cheryl, you came to Children's Colorado last year and really helped build the Cinco program to what it is today. Can you talk a little bit about how Cinco benefits our patients and families now? Yeah, great. So we're still doing a lot of the things um, that you started a few years back. Um, we have the volunteers you just mentioned that come and help our patients. In the last two years, um, our volunteer program, which started a little late due to COVID, but have really been off the ground now for about two years. Um, mm -hmm. We've had over a hundred patients, or over a thousand patients visited by our volunteers, of which three quarters of them had been held by a volunteer. Mm -hmm. Over half of them have been read to, so really getting mm -hmm. some more holding and cuddling than they would if without our volunteers. Mm -hmm. um, our Physical therapists and occupational therapists have been great and they run our developmental care rounds where we round on two to three patients every week, really focusing just on their therapies and neurodevelopmental care. Um, with that, our physical therapists and occupational therapists also hand out little um, developmental kits, which are little boxes with age-appropriate toys for babies as well as a book um, for parents to really help interact in an age-appropriate way with the children within the hospital. Also, we 
have specific Cinco orders in which we remind the nurses to cluster care, really focusing on allowing time for rest and um, rehab and sleep for our patients. So in the progressive care unit, they get hands off vitals overnight, so they have a longer stretch where they can sleep. We try to do that in the ICU as well. However, they're a little more sick and we can't give them the entire night as if they were on the step down unit. We also have work with our wellness team mm -hmm. um, and Dr. Sarah Kelly, who's our mm -hmm. psychologist working on our team, with her to optimize parental mental health as well. As we have found um, through numerous studies that parental mental health can really affect the neurodevelopment of our children. Mm -hmm. A couple of other things we've started in the last couple years. Um, uh, Kayla Clark, one of our mm -hmm. speech and language pathologists, has really helped to grow our feeding and nutrition program so mm -hmm. that um, parents are the first ones feeding their baby. Mm -hmm. um, in the past, it used to be in the ICU that when a baby was ready to eat, our speech or our occupational therapist would come and just feed the baby. Mm -hmm. Didn't matter where the parents were. Now we really focus on trying to get that mom and dad to be the first one to feed their children, and they are loving that. Mm -hmm. And one of the newest programs we're starting in the next couple months, um, really headed by one of our physical therapists, um, Emily mm -hmm. Maloney, and. Um, one of our occupational therapists, therapists Andrea, mm -hmm. is our early mobility program. Early mobility really focuses on trying to get kids out of bed as early as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. And this is done throughout the nation in the adult hospitals, very much growing in our pediatric ICUs, but is pretty new to our cardiac units. So really trying to get babies held and in parents' arms and getting kids who can walk up out of bed walking. Um, and what studies have shown so far is that it actually helps them get out of the hospital faster. Um, and the length of stay is another contributing factor to um, neurodevelopmental outcomes. So the sooner we can get them out, hopefully the better neurodevelopmental outcomes we can have. So Kelly, uh, CINCO is really our inpatient neurodevelopmental program, but how do we take care of these patients as they're headed home and while they're at home? Yeah, thank you. We know that neurodevelopment is part of lifelong cardiac care for children with CHD. So we've made the CINCO program bridge to our outpatient neurodevelopmental follow-up program. We start in the toddler period by providing neurodevelopmental evaluations, um, as well as screening for autism, sleep, feeding, and behavioral challenges in our cardiac neurodevelopmental multidisciplinary clinic, which includes speech language, physical, occupational therapies, pediatric psychology, and neuropsychology. Um, and then from there in school age, um, patients follow in our cardiac outpatient neuropsychology clinic where they receive individualized um, evaluations to look at their development, learning, growth, and adaptive functioning. Um, and in this way, we can help optimize long-term outcomes. We know that every child is really unique and that their heart condition is just one part of that picture. And so we really provide these comprehensive evaluations so that children can receive any interventions or accommodations or support they might need to help them achieve their long-term goals. Additionally, along those lines, um, we are also collecting that clinical data long term so that we can look at not only the neurodevelopmental outcomes of our cardiac program here, but specifically whether our Cinco inpatient program can make a difference in some of those long term outcomes. Thank you for joining us today and allowing us to talk about neurodevelopmental care in our Cinco program. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.